Let's get this game going, bro. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. Taken about seven yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Please take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. First carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Prescott eluding the pressure right. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try and pass down the field that fell incomplete. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. <coughs> they only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. First down, Dallas. and 10 Prescott escaping the pressure right he'll fire deep depth that's caught inside the 20 touchdown Cowboys CD Lamb 57 yards and the Cowboys have taken the early lead well, the underdog here is showing no fear great opening drive now we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech but I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. 
Looks like he had green on that play. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to be taken down oh, with a on. marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. A good pick up there at 22. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And then it's all Into a double team and it's Close intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. What a start defensively. Yeah, I mean, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the no. offense scored yeah. to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. They went counter there offensively and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes they don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 26-yard line. Prescott from the gun. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll have a first down past the 40. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First down carry by Elliott. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. First down, Dallas. First down, Prescott eluding the pressure right. He'll fire deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Give him 32 on the play. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Now Elliott. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal out of the gun here's Prescott and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think I've got to be there right now Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Fourth down and goal. Fourth down, Prescott. And yeah, my goodness, yes. it's incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. A 
first carry now for the BYU man. It's Shamar Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down in jubilation, aren't you? And now you've got options on second down. And big time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he stopped immediately there. On the carry. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. The line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. On second down, it's Jones. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. The ball carrier. Back to back stops, make it third and ten. No gain on the play. It's third and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. It's caught. Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Hey, nothing to see here. Just your standard fourth down gain of 28 yards. And the drive keeps going. At the 29-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Got a man, it's Tanya complete. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Working from the gun, Rodgers escaping the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And nine yards to go. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Yes, sir. And Boom. Get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Get out the way. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. God damn it, man. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Tony Pollard on the return. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it up. But he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. To throw on second and six, Prescott got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A first down throw for Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And the Cowboy first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. To the air again, Prescott, flush to his right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge, it's ruled incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Zerline's kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. From the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Look at him go inside the 30. He that was the first time I put that dude back there. First time I ever put him back there as kick off the turn. First time, the first time he gets it, he runs that shit all the way back. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets the full head of steam. And he got full of steam there. Speed is 95. And he atones for the miss the first time around as Boom. this one is up and good to extend their lead. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. I think that was my first, first ever kickoff return, too. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And here's Lewis. The lane opens here. He's past the third. Oh, hey, boy. Boy, big boy. At their own 38-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you're all looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At the 47-yard line. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Cool. And he's corralled 
but not before getting that it inside hole is the, the interstate. 13 yards, first down Packers. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now a first down carry by Jones. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Rogers with the handoff to Aaron. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Being chased out left. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Oh, the thing's got a little dicey there as soon as he exited the pocket out to the left. And he ends up throwing it for no yardage gained. I don't know about you, but my high school coach, John Ford, if he saw a ball in the air and you got no yards out of it, he would have had a stroke, okay? Because his, his opinion, that ball shouldn't be in the air unless something good was going to happen. Tuck it away, try and pick up something, or just slide and get down. Yeah, nothing good happened there, that's for sure. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. They go back to the ground with Jones. He takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Got a man open. Yes, sir. Sorry. Green Bay. Give me that PD. PD Nuts. There to make the grab. And the Packers add on to their lead. And so now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Cowboys 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is Tony Pollard. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. That's the thing with kickoff return. You gotta get the fastest person. And it's not just speed, it's acceleration too. The fact that Nickerson was 95, both of them. About set like, oh, for this hell next yeah. drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Oh my god. This out quickly to Lamb. Ooh. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Angles, baby. Uh, Angles. The beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Dallas. Here's a throw out yes, line baby. to his Angles. back right side. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He was unable to shake watch free pass, there. Watch pass, watch pass. For a loss of a yard. Watch cross route. Watch the run. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, no. throw left side complete. That That's Elliott. No charge. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Loss of a yard on the play. And it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Prescott now from the 50. Flushed out right. Him. No and shot. a throw there going to be Man, I cannot play. wait for Madden 22 to come out. The has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. No, that was random. Unable but to successfully find the end zone the trailer, over the man. top. Just everything just looks, everything just pops out. The fans, everything. I'm just, I'm just ready for it. I just... All right, they're going to try and I just hope it's not crap. Here on fourth like Madden 20, Madden 21 was. It's Madden 21 is better than Madden 21. So they, they, they fixed a lot of things. But there's still a lot of things shit they got to work on. 
Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Eluding the pressure right. Gonna get the defense loses him. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses and over. It's out of mainly balance. the time to pull out the stops is now. Someone in the pack there on fourth down. So the big just play break it down. Just like like. That. They'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And again, it's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, come and on, 31. It's incomplete. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Kind of hope the Detroit Lions had a good overall in that game, so I could play the fucking Lions. But I doubt that's going to. I doubt that's going to work. Complete pass here now is second and ten. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Oh, and shit. To the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Complete. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. Prescott yet again. That oh, come on. Oh, come and on. The dude was wide open. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. He could have ate a fucking cheeseburger by the time a fucking defender got by him. To kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. And the thing needs to be way He's dropped at the 17. At their own 17 yard line. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, remember what the four-minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. A gain there of 21 yards. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Get that first down, baby. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Third down and six. He's got Adams on the hookup. Touchdown, Packers. And that's how you run the play action. Adams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add six to their lead. Extra point try now for Crosby. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Makes the score. Packers 28. Cowboys 18. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. A 
about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view. It's caught inside the 25. No, and he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Prescott. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Cowboys 24. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Oh, a good look in return set up here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college, and how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time, ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around okay. the line of scrimmage. Today's final score. Packers. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And I tell you what, they were big favorites coming in, but they had to work for this one. Yeah, it certainly wasn't the walk in the park that you expected coming into this one. I have a suspicion that in their meetings next week, head coach going to talk to them a little bit about focus, don't you think? Yeah, because down the stretch, there was some nail-biting going on. And, and you're right, I think not only the fans, but those folks inside that locker room, they expected a comfortable victory. Yeah, they certainly did, and that just tells you about the NFL. Any given game, you never know how it's going to turn out. You better be ready to play. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.